What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are adding Apple CarPlay to a Toyota Land Cruiser. It's the Sahara edition. We are using an integration module for this. Now it is basically plug and play. Um, there is some other things we need to add. So there's a little speaker here that needs to be added. Uh, USB video connection. We will go through all that stuff. So what we'll do is set the camera up, do a time lapse on the install and when it's time to show you the bits and pieces, we will do so. All right, now that we've got the radio removed, we can look at some of our wiring. So this is one of the main things. We've got the plug and play loom. So we'll remove that. It's a very easy, obviously, original harness plugs in, and then you're left with the new plug to go back into the radio. Okay, so this will only go one way. All right, looks good. Um, so that goes back to the factory radio, and then we've got some more harnesses here. So we've obviously got one that goes to the module, and we've got another one here. Now this will probably go up at the screen. No, it doesn't. It goes right here. Okay. Easy, easy. Now we can run these to our module, so we'll find somewhere that we like for the module. All right guys, so that's pretty much what gets done behind the radio. Um, up here behind the screen, we can mount our module pretty much right there. There's still plenty of room for the screen. Now we've got another, this is the video cable, so we're just gonna go original in. All right, again, it will only go one way, there we go. So that will go to the screen now, and this will go to the module. Um, LVDS from the module, okay? Now we do have a couple USB inputs here. So we've got USB one, USB and USB two. We've got a GPS antenna, a flush mount USB if we need it, and the CarPlay dongle. All right, guys, so we've done our plug and play connections under now, down here, and we've run the power cable up. We did that video cable connection, and we had the three USBs, so two of them we're not gonna use. They're just USB inputs that we don't need. We only want this for CarPlay. So USB zero is CarPlay. I've plugged in the little dongle. We're just running it over here to this side, we're going to work out with the customer where, what we want to do with the USB, whether we're going to flush mount it or whatever. So that can be one of the last things. Um, and that way we can still test as well. GPS antenna got mounted behind the speaker up here. It just There's a flat panel there, double sides down. Um, so now we just need to neaten up the wiring. Uh, this is stuck down with double sided tape. We're also going to put some gaffer tape around it, get it in place. And neaten up the wiring, like I said, and that's it. So before we go too far, we'll get the screen and the radio back in and we'll just do a little bit more um, testing and yeah, see how it goes. Now, very important down here, fish out every single cable because there was a lot of cables plugged into the main uh, radio module, so we don't want to lose any of those.
All right, before we go too far, let's do a little test. Do, 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 do. Where is the power? But there it is. Okay. I'll push to start. Can we remove it? No, let's just do that. Easy enough. A few moments later. All right. So far, so good. Okay, so basically, to access the system, what we'll do is first we'll listen, make sure we've got sound, nice. Nav button switches us, o switches us over to the module. Um, then we can skip that, go home. And so now we've got our Android device, so you can use Mirror Link, okay, the easy connection it says here. Um, apps okay now what we need to do is so look at all the apps that it has built in and uh, none of these are actually carplay or android auto like google maps and all that so what we need to do is plug this in i'm hoping we can just do it from this usb but i doubt it's going to work so what we're doing now is installing the carplay app okay so now that's done all we need to do is plug in our phone we should have carplay Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go get my, no I won't, I've got one right here, my iPhone cord. Boom. There it is. Apple CarPlay in all of its glory. Now there's a bunch of settings we can go through, so I'll actually get all that done and then we'll check back in. All right guys, bit of a recap. So, screen is now in. We've still got to put the screws in. Main radio module is in. Um, now, I just was I was just working some magic on the USB side of things. So, what we've done is right in there you can still see where we've had the USB connector, okay? So, it's mounted taped to that loom to a loom right in there. And the plug is right there, so it's accessible by removing that vent. And what I've actually done is custom mounted the USB for the CarPlay right here. So that used to be a 12 volt socket. Now it is CarPlay, and our customer said that he definitely won't be using this one here. There's like another three of them right at the front of the car, so all good. Um, and yeah, so what we're going to do is we'll do a time lapse of putting this back together and we'll see how it works. Guys, that is the job pretty much done. Um, plug and play, pretty straightforward. You just mainly have to remove that whole screen section, run your USBs, you don't need to run a microphone, GPS antenna. Mount it, put it back together, test it, um, and it works really, really well. It doesn't do wireless, um, but that's okay. And you've seen our little custom USB point. So what we'll do now is set the camera up to look at the screen and see how it works. So as we see, we have full functionality with the factory options in the car. You've got audio, you've got maps, everything works as it should. If we press and hold this nav button, it will bring us into Apple CarPlay. Now we've already got our device plugged in. From here, you can pretty much put your phone away and everything will work with the factory touch in the car. So we've got apps like WhatsApp, Waze, Spotify, Google Maps, Audible, Amazon Music, all work. Um, podcasts, okay, you can call, make phone calls, messages we have voice functionality so we can say hey siri take me to the nearest petrol station the nearest one i see is barry street lunch bar on barry street let me know if and I should just call like that we can use apple maps um voice control also works in ways and google maps but you have to actually go into the app and tap the voice control button right there alternatively you can say hey siri 
Use Waze to take me to the nearest petrol station. The nearest one I see is 7 Getting directions to 7-Eleven fuel station using Waze. Just like that. So it is a true hands-free experience. Um, we also have functionality. Let's get started. Drive safely. Make a U-turn. We do have functionality with our... Oh, it's actually playing. So what we need to do is cancel that route. Stop. And go here. Now we can go to Spotify. Okay, you can browse. Find something that you might want to listen to. And we have functionality with the factory sound system. And we can also use the factory steering wheel controls, which is what I'm doing here, to change our tracks. Like I said, that is the job essentially done. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Um, yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, catch you guys in the next one.